at that Kiss Race shirt. How dope is this? Just like that's the one we don't talk about, though. Right. I didn't say I didn't say nothing. That's the Kiss Race we don't talk about. I didn't say a word, my bro. But this shirt is, uh, just looks naturally cool as fuck. It's like you don't even know that it's a shirt that's shoving some cringeworthy content down your throat. The car should have Shane Gillis on the hood and you should all be underneath it. Yeah. Or the other way around. Yeah. Shane or you're Gillis right, getting you're right. run over yeah. by the yak comment yeah. section. Yeah. Yeah, the car is the comment section. I'll just be hanging in the background. Just me being like, <laughs> me, me I'm on a seamless app being like, what's your order? <laughs> buy, this, buy this shirt for sure. That This also unlocks a kiss. Oh! oh. Not from me. But it does. You you can kiss in this shirt. Mm-hmm. It's very okay to kiss in this shirt. What's up, everyone? Chilling, dude. Not much. Yeah, yeah Andrew, Andrew Schultz. Good. Right Andrew there. Schultz. Yeah, he was just on PMT for an hour and a half. He was. Was it funny as fuck? Wow. It was. It was one of those interviews where like I had notes and I didn't look at them once. We That's great. So talked about everything. His special uh, just came out and it's funny as fuck. You watched it. Yes, brother. You bought it? Yes, brother. 15 bucks, brother. I didn't know you had that type of <laughs> expendable wow. income. No, bro. I uh, I bit torrent streamed that bitch. Fuck yes. I fucking got it from movies123.gov. Steal this special. Yeah, it was fucking, it was funny as shit, though. He was making all these jokes, dude. Yeah? It reminded me of Lil Sasquatch. Yeah, they, everyone's copying him. Yeah. I'm making jokes now. Mm. Sass Philly tickets still on sale? Apparently, uh, yes, tonight. They're sold out. Three shows are sold out. One of them is not. Which one? Uh, the late show tonight. Oh. Let's get on it, boys. Well, they will. Girls. Like the other ones are will will sell out. There's like oh wait, there's so like not one, there's like one so ticket. All left. of them are not. Mm. So no, the two ones out. tomorrow are sold out. The one early one today is like one. You understand ticket. what sold out means? Yeah, but I'm speaking. I'm trying to drive tickets to this specific show. Uh. Has it been that bad? It's a little dry. <laughs> We're a little um, light. How, what's little light. the room? 250 people and what do we have like, like 130 oh come on people yeah. it's, it's there's still a lot. a lot of room what time is this show that you're 9 oh the 9 30 what if i just bought them all that actually would suck though. that'd be worse i would love it <laughs> hey. i would not mind really if i bought them all he gets the money yeah right yeah. i right should now. do that for an entire show just That's buy what, all uh, his shows and he does it for no one <laughs> like he did that to uh who who did 50 Cent ja Rule. to? To Jaw Rule. He bought out oh. his entire venue, so he performed for no one. Yeah, it was like the first <laughs> 10 rows. <laughs> That's awesome. I know. At, I the got peak, uh, at the peak of his fame, Elvis had this thing where he wouldn't perform unless it was sold out. And so any stadium that didn't sell out, they would bring in prisoners to remove the seats so that technically it's still sold out. Wait, what do you mean? So that, why wouldn't they, you they just they have to physically the... remove the seats? Yeah, yeah, they could just the sit in the seats. Sit. Well, there was... Oh, that's what they did. They just brought in prisoners <laughs> to get them out. So, like in a stadium in Florida, once they brought in all these prisoners to remove the top. Yeah, we can't. Well, we can't that. have them oh, yeah, going to concerts. They're under lockdown. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of fucked up. I thought they, I thought they like you brought, brought the like, jailhouse rock. rock. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't, I don't want them going to concerts. It's just like yeah. imagine the warden being like, you know, that Elvis concert. It's yeah. not sold out. They need people to go there. And physically remove the seats. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, wild fuck. job. Yeah. Yeah. It was a book. I read a book by his manager, not the colonel guy, but the other, some other guy. And it was like all the crazy demands he had. Anyway, cool Elvis anecdote by me. What's what the, were what other, wait? What were his other crazy colonel demands? Shit. What's that? And he had like the colonel. Remember, Elvis had like that guy that was always with him. That was, but then there was this other guy. What were some of his crazy Jerry demands? Weinberg. I, I I love like hearing stories about riders. We talked about too. He also managed John Denver, and he said John Denver had like a dad complex where he needed to feel like he was in control. So they would make up when John Denver would get like upset about how a concert went or how something went, and he'd be angry. They would make up an employee who screwed it up and let John Denver fire the fake employee. So oh, that's he, awesome. So he felt like he was in control. That's of awesome. Stuff. Crazy. Yeah, I need one of those. And like it actually worked. Yeah. Like it would actually like appease him. The same guy every time. And then he would feel bad, and then he'd be like, can we rehire that guy I fired last week? I was angry, and then they'd rehire the fake guy. Oh, my God. And that's great. Yeah. Damn. Like a fake like a guy fake who can just fire all the time. Yeah. But this John Denver like, like that famous when he was alive? He was pretty famous. Yeah, he was pretty famous, bro. At the height of his, yeah. Rocky Mountain High. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great song. Colorado. Did he ever sell out helium, though? No. <laughs> no Probably not. did not. Bitch. Not a funny Bitch. guy. Yeah, Who's opening for you? Oh, dude, it's been a it's been a rough last couple. Wait till you hear this. Whoa! All Wait right. till you hear yeah. fucking this. Episode. Well, no, it's just oh. my opener got my opener got stuck in Florida, so I don't have. I have to. Who's I have your to opener? opener? Well, not my opener. The guy that was opening for me, Jerry. Two? No, call him Tyrell. 
It's your Why opener. Why don't you get Jerry Thornton? He's not my opener. I was just. <laughs> I, I was asked like, you said me. my opener. Well, I didn't mean it like that. I, I, mean, I had no. him. I was gonna have him open for me. You want me to come open for you tonight? I would love that. I'll open. I want Roan to come, but Roan's being a little bitch ass. Oh, mm. is that true? He is. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I mean, Sass is being stingy with the cat. That's not true. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Son of the oh, no. boy, Dad. I told Rona I would pay him $100,000 for 10 minutes on stage. And that's only 10% of what he's getting, which is bullshit. <laughs> you guys should break up right after Jesus and Mero broke up and be like, yeah. and be like wait, oh, who? Yeah. who? They're who definitely they? doing it on purpose just to get the attention. You think so? No, but that's what I would do if I was them. Yeah. Um, no, Rona's not being a bitch. A it must be awesome, though, for those guys to be like, no matter what, we could just always sell a reunion tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's, that. Yeah. If what Jason Whitlock said is true, and I don't know whether it is or not. <laughs> Wait, that's your source? No, he said no. But he he. You see, he tweeted like they only got fifty thousand views an episode. Like they were fucking like they were never that popular. What? Jason Whitlock just came off the top rope. I mean, they were definitely probably their popularity probably was a little overstated. Yeah, well, the, 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 the culture took a hit. Right. Oh yeah, big time. It was for the culture. You know that. Yeah. Been a bad day for the culture. The culture took a hit. Mm-hmm. But if they they could, uh, if Whitlock is right, they could always have a reunion tour. Yeah, I mean that's like like any band that uh, is like we're done, and then they have a reunion. Like, I just imagine it goes the exact same way. They all are sitting there, like ten years later, and they're like, "Wait, how much money could we make?" I think the problem is that one of them is about to get the like the Jimmy Kimmel job. Uh, oh. Well, he's got he's get uh, Jesus is guest hosting for a week. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna and and Miro's not, dude. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yikes. I feel like that's how things break. Why up. yikes though? Like that that's one guy's winning, one guy's still still good. Like mm-hmm. there's no L's being taken. Technically the other guy, Miro's still winning too, It'll because be like we'll get we'll in any breakup like build this. Build him up. <laughs> so they can't complain them putting on. No, there's another one before this, I think. Any breakup like this? The like the one guy who technically wins, who goes on to do like Jimmy Kimmel or something, he wins, but he loses all of like the hardcore fans because the other guy could just do the opposite and be like, "I'm keeping it real." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Rory yeah. and Mal. Yeah, like I'm keeping it real for the fans. I'm not going to Hollywood. Yeah, I'd rather be the. Which if, one are you gonna do? Uh, I'll do the keep it real. Yeah, what if you got <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel though? What if they're like Big Cat? We want you to do. I the wouldn't. Late night I would show. no. I'd be like, I want to be the keep it real guy. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, Doing the late night show would be hard. It's a lot. Yeah. It's gonna be a ton of work. There's. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah, that would be miserable. It's if not all. It's at it. No, it's not a ton of work. I don't think. Oh, I watched a whole episode of Louie where he talks about it, and it Dude, sounded like a lot of work. They have all their jokes written for them, mm-hmm. yeah. and they and they film it at two thirty. So it, they get in at like eleven thirty. They'll like go over some like prep, go over some jokes. They'll fucking just read the jokes, it's, pretend well, it's, to it's, it's have at, input. It's uh, everything behind the, everything else is what's a lot of work. But I don't think for Jim, that, I don't Jimmy Kimmel has to work that hard. It's not even a nine to five. I right, he has it, a brutal life. Just oh, I disagree. I think he does. I think yeah. it's an awesome life. He uh, also, yeah. you know, they do the they do the interviews before. Yeah. No, like someone else interviews the people. Oh, really? Yes. I so when you show up, if you show up to Jimmy Kimmel, there's a person, one of Jimmy Kimmel's assistants will pre-interview and be like, oh, that's a good story. S- like, tell that one. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll go to Jimmy Kimmel and be like, here, cue him up for this story, this story, this story. That's pretty That's so easy. Well, wouldn't you want to have creative control on your own show? Like, I mean, I'm sure for, probably for the I first time. I think that would get years. draining to have someone just write. You have to go by the. I book, think he has as much control every- as he wants. I feel like if yeah, he wants to yeah. like take over an interview, he could just be like, all right, I'm just going to run this. He can't do one. like his old jokes that he used to do, his old no racist jokes. Blackface, yeah. blackface yeah. anymore. Blackface, Carl Malone. That'd be draining. That's got to be tough for any man. <laughs> <laughs> He's only getting 50 million. Going from blackface to whiteface is a hard transition. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, as dull as all. No one talks about that. Terrible. Yaz is tortured. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, someone who used to be on the Eagles hit me up, and they were like, a bunch of Eagles dudes are, are going to Sass's show tonight. What? <laughs> a bunch of Ooh. Oh, it Riley out, yeah. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mac Hollins is who hit me up. Okay. And uh, I don't I don't know who uh, who's coming through to the show. They were all like, where's oh. Ron? Are you going to be there? And, uh, and I said no. <laughs> yeah. Sass isn't yeah. opening up that fucking bag. <laughs> well, Some old Norris Town players showing up too. Who's that? Cr- <laughs> Chad Hall. <laughs> Who was the fullback they had? Not John Ritchie. Oh, hey, was it John Ritchie? Yeah, yeah, John Ritchie John was Ritchie. on the fucking birds. Yeah. 
Yeah. But Sass has to get some of his fucking athlete jokes in there or whatever. Yeah, you got to roast. Yeah, do you bird. have your eagle set? Yeah. No, there I'm, you go. We're cowboys. Hey, give him some stuff. Kate, you got to give him some. Yeah, uh, some uh, I'll silly stuff. afterwards. I'll give you. Yeah, my, yeah, I have I a notebook it. somewhere. A ton of eagles. Jokes. Kate used to roast the fuck out of guests. Yeah, she's a yeah. good roaster. She roasted the fuck out of Chris Long. There yeah. was at the Super Bowl. Also, I did Heinz Ward and a couple other guys, but that was rough. I kind of sucked, and he was very confused. He about was what dry. Was he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. <laughs> a lot of yeah. <laughs> that one didn't go over as well. You should do a roast okay. on the yak and let Kate host. Yeah, I would love. <clears throat> we were just talking about that. That we should do like. I feel like one night a big roast of like Dave with like bringing real comedians and real comedians no. and but like have people do a big thing get yeah, dressed I'm surprised up. there hasn't been a dave roast yet. i think so. i think it would be pretty easy well he wanted to do it at msg right yeah yeah he yeah, wants yeah. to do the roast like, mater- he wants to do a night material of material would be easy to accumulate yeah it would be hilarious because he would just i don't know his how roast. well he would like it well no but it, it, i don't think roast. He, I, I don't think he would be able to sit there like, cause you know how like when typically in a roast, like the like the guest of honor like sits there and just takes all the roasts. I don't think he'd be able to just take it for like <laughs> an hour straight. But but the whole point of the roast is at the end he gives it all back. Yeah, yeah. Right. That would be like that would be the best. Do like a thirty minute roast and then Dave would give it back for like four hours. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that would be awesome. Right. Oh, it wouldn't even be four hours. It'd be four hours on the show and yeah. then for months on yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> he thought of something that yeah. he meant to say. Uh, you should do that. that would be. I do awesome. think it would yeah. do really well. It would. Well, yeah. That'd be very fun. Great. Yeah. You think you could sell out MSG though? No. Bro, you got three out of four sold out at the. No, no, not me. We, oh. we had this debate, <laughs> Dukes. No, no, he could. Not <laughs> Dave. <laughs> no, talking about I Dave. Talking about you. No, no, no. Yeah. MSG has the basement theater. Yeah. It's not as big as the thing. How big is it? It's pretty. It's not. It's, it's like. I think that would be doable. People, I think. Yeah. I think that'd be doable. Oh, fuck yeah. To a. Can I show you guys a tweet real quick? I want your thoughts on Is it a Whitlock? Uh, Is it a Whitlock? No, it's the, Noted. not a Whitlock. Andrew Brandt tweet that I quote treated TJ. Um, one of the weirdest, like, he, so it's his birthday and he's sucking his own dick. But there's just something about this one phrase he used that I just. Who's this douchebag? All right. So Andrew Brandt, he used to work for the Packers. 62 today, entering middle age. Join Packers uh, at 40. First triathlon at 47. Join media at 51. Law professor at 56. Started podcast newsletter at 58. Climbed Everest equivalent. No. Uh, so, uh, so no. So no. So what? Nothing. Yeah, nothing no. is what is that? Oh, also, yeah. this dude was just late to everything. Yeah. <laughs> but what is an Everest equivalent? Yeah. That's, that's the, actually that's hilarious. The tallest because, peak. Yeah. What? Yeah, when he yeah. says never peak. You either not climb. Don't climb Everest. Everest or not. That's a terrible tweet. No. Everyone's like, "Happy birthday, dude!" I just wrote, "What the fuck is an Everest equivalent?" What? I'm trying to look up what mountain. The funny thing about that, too, is the Everest is, like, the highest peak, but, like, any peak that's relatively close to Everest in height is significantly harder to climb than Everest. Right. Everest how is, could you, just how could you even get an equivalent? You probably had, like, no a equivalent. Stairmaster of yeah. many yeah. 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 Uh, Went on a treadmill for three days at 15? Guess where it was. Utah. Wait, that's the Everest? <laughs> what? Or did he climb one mountain like f- 500 times? I don't know. He has this tweet from uh, 2021, starting my Mike Mount Lapsa Everest challenge. Track. What the fuck? Yeah, this guy is pretending to... F- this is yeah. the weirdest thing yeah, I've ever Everest heard. The Everest part is, d- is disgusting. Not- what it, like the no, wait, highest- Kate's right. He's, it's a ski he, slope. He has a ski slope. He just climbed up and down a hill multiple times. That's Walter Payton's hill. That's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Pull up his wife. <laughs> <laughs> wait what is i didn't realize he he wait, wait if his wife ass pick for my then, everest then challenge if he has a stacked wife then i don't care just, so everest challenge is i'm gonna just, just start i'm distance. just gonna start quote treating all of these i need to find that one hmm. Damn, this is can, not mount everest he is kind of dreamy for his age the whole point of everest is it's hard because it's like no oxygen yeah that being said though i do know someone who's in our circle that would say something similar Oh my God! So it's called it's Ooh. a sport called Everesting. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, when, when when he was reading that tweet, I was gonna say, who do you think would write a tweet like you that? Can't <laughs> say that ever. That's like saying I went to the equivalent of outer space because right because I went in a plane. I've been on in, enough planes. Yeah, I've been yeah. in fifty plane rides. Yeah, um, yeah that's what? crazy. Wait, I've been to the out. moon equivalent. Look, it's called Everesting. It's like a sport people do. What? It's a company, and they rent a private mountain. Oh my! They God. build a base camp. 
with bands, bonfires, and luxury tents. He's glamping Everest. And then you... This is insanity. I don't think that's what the base camps are. And look, he's on the front page, and he says, I guess I'm one of these guys now. What the oh, this fuck? is what he did? I didn't even know this was a thing. I thought he was just saying that he like went up a bunch of stairs. There's no. actually... This is the fact that he used the word equivalent is equivalent. infuriating. This is <laughs> there is no equivalent. It's no. insane that this is actually a thing that someone's making money off of. And it would have been fine if he was just like, I got into mountain climbing. Yeah, like I walked up a hill a bunch of times. He's the cumin. Uh, no. This was the th hardest thing I've I have done on a bike purely because no, you know what's harder? Going up Everest. Yeah. <laughs> There's vomit in my beard. <laughs> but this suffering is a privilege. These Somebody here has to. Why wouldn't these people also? Why wouldn't these people just climb Everest? Right. They're definitely all rich as fuck. Someone here, Go please, climb Everest. please do this, please. Would you rather it? be like, yeah, I climbed Everest, and be like, yeah, I did the Everesting trip? Why is it all Utah? bike riders? It, it probably is a bike ride. It's a mountain in Utah that people just walk up of? You could do it anywhere, is what it says. 22,000. Can we end, can we end this whole Everest. project? Can we kill this campaign? Yeah. They, they rent mountains everywhere, it sounds like, and they build like a luxury base camp. Yeah, that's like all the, and then they have you do the equipment. They literally have them. So, uh, this is all useless. Fit Burn it. Fuck, Wear dude. it. This is fake. You get a little patch. That wow. shit just doesn't make any sense. I don't huh. know why people or Everest is just like a brand. It's not even like uh, what it represents is now stronger than the actual place that it yeah. it is. Yeah, they made it a verb. <laughs> yeah, we're Everesting. just Everesting. Fuck that, dude. What do you think is the the lowest point you can Everest? Yeah, can't babe. I'm Everesting tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, give me a break. Um, yes. interesting. No, that was the thing. I'm. I shouldn't be this mad, but I'm mad. That people are walking around being like, I went on Everest. I don't even point. think that the Everest, I might be very off here, but I don't even think that like from the base camp to the peak is that long. I think it's half of it as you're acclimating yourself right. to the altitude. Yeah. Could you imagine ha like sitting down to a dinner with someone? It's obviously very long. I don't mean but ha long. Having someone like, could you imagine Let's doing that and actually bragging about it? Like the, if I said to you the sentence, yeah, I, I did an Everest equivalent. The next question would be like, wait, so... So you didn't go up Mount Everest. It is a good way to own a dinner party, though. Like, yes. they'll talk about it for 45 but minutes. But everyone will think you're an asshole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go up Mount Everest. Everyone would think you're an asshole. Every Mount Everest is like, isn't there like so much trash on Mount Everest because everyone goes up it now? There's like Ed huge bodies. long lines. They're yeah. just waiting in long lines to like go over the thing for like over an hour. It's not it's like, this isn't like 80 years ago where it's like, oh, only like 20 people have climbed. Huh. Everyone climbs Mount Everest. No, I think they say it's the easiest of the seven gonna. summits. No, not as hard, not as easy as, as easy uh, as fucking going up a hill over and over. What does it count? What what? How do they go down the hill? Ro like, probably, yeah, there's probably, probably a gondola. It's a ski lift. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, do they asshole? walk back down the whole the hill? Because Everest? that might be no, not on Everest. On Everest thing. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Everest so if you've thing. skied a bunch in your life, you've you've Everest. Everest you've, yeah. Depending, Everest equivalent seating, gone down. Seeding Everest. Yeah. We've walked enough to have Everested. I'm sure. Oh, dude. Listen, yeah, like, I've done uh, about a thousand marathon equivalents in my yeah. life. <laughs> we should make shirts that say marathon equivalent. 26.2 uh, 26 equivalent. What is this? <laughs> Over like how many days do you think yeah. it just takes in your normal steps to walk a marathon? Like a week. A week. Like a week. Yeah. yeah. Slap a bumper a sticker on. Like, you know, yeah. I'm not even saying like if you, do, if you do this and you just do it and just like don't say Maybe say it's anything. like a training for Everest. But it's also like you could just do it because you like to do it, whatever. But to brag about it, he's got to have better life accomplishments. Learning how to make risotto. I don't is even think harder bragging than about it is bad. The rest of the tweet very sucked hard. too. It was all yeah. bragging about how he did these things. But just saying, like that would be like if I went paintballing and I was like, yeah, I was in the military. Yeah. Kate, what do you think about that? I played enough Call of Duty. Yeah. Military I've had at least four tours. Yeah. I'm military adjacent. Yeah. yeah. I paintball. Yeah. You've all shot the little that yeah, those little thing gel in here. Guns. Yeah. Pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Basically mm -hmm. snipers. Yeah. This is fucked. Fuck this, dude. This old yeah. bastard. Maybe we should come up with something that we... I have the hiccups. That we could create that we could just sell to idiots. Equivalent. Yak equivalent. Well, that's... Have you seen... Talking about Military Jason on Zero Blog 30. New episode out today. We were talking about there's those... Ma there's boot camp. Fake boot camps for men. Mm. That are supposed to make you more manly. Um, a guy just died at one. But they like... They basically, pretty manly. They have you go out in the night. They literally pull up in a van. They put like burlap sacks over your heads. Take they you in kidnap the van. you. That's not yes, manly. Yes, that's part of it. You pull up into um, you pull up into this parking lot. They come and like kidnap you. 
They make you in the middle of the night dig your own grave and then bury yourself. That's a with, like, that's just a fetish. And then dig, yeah, yeah. And they like spray you down with cold hoses. They basically like haze the fuck out of you for a week, and then you and if you drop out, this one guy who dropped out like ended up paying like over 40 grand that year then to be mentored to come back again to complete this week of like hazing and then they're all in like a networking group afterwards where they wear like matching polo shirts and stuff it's like a thing it's very popular there's several in california i kind of want to send sass to it but it's like i I feel like sass would make the fucking people quit (laughs) like we don't want to deal with this guy (laughs) i i don't mind the uh or i don't know what i'm saying i i kind of want to get kidnapped we could, could do that. I think we could do. We could absolutely do that. That's a green light, Hank. Should we? Yep. <laughs> we should absolutely. But like do it. I, I don't know. I just saw a video for like a game show, like a survival game show, where they kidnapped. Uh, you were on that show. It was yeah. the most dangerous. <laughs> no, 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 no. Saw you in it. We're going to Grit Week in a couple weeks, and we're going to Colorado, and uh, I'm gonna try to hook up with uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter and do like a Billy hunt. Oh, that would be. Let awesome. him go in the woods, and we hunt him. Dog the Billy sick Hunter. That I feel like Billy would die before you guys even found him. I think we'd find him in a second. How is he? What it, what happened to him last? His calf exploded? I don't know. Something bad. Seems down. Bounty or His Billy? His wife died Bounty. and then he just found a new wife that looks exactly like Oh, him. I thought I was talking about Billy. Yeah. Hear me out. Yeah. I think that should be normalized. Finding a, a <laughs> there replacement should be like wife? A, a database that matches track of who all has the same wife. physical appearance. I feel like yeah. names would be even be easier just so you don't have to like learn a whole new name. Right. Yeah. And an argument. Or some, yeah. yeah like you never dead have, wife's name. Yeah. You never say your dead wife's name during sex. <laughs> that would be nice, yeah. right? Yeah. It would just be some, it would just be brand, a brand new wife. Glory. It'd probably be pretty tough to move on though. What do you mean? From the death. If you, you wouldn't have, have to. Ah. That's the point. If you, you got over it like a week. On. Yeah. I guess if you have the same name, same face. That's why we need clones. That's why we need to eat the bugs. Not eating the bugs. Don't eat the Officially bugs. Officially not eating the bugs. Dude, isn't it crazy how much skinnier Doug's looks? I think he lost uh, like maybe 200 pounds already. Just from the puke. Just from like, does one look. or two workouts, he just lost all of the weight. Good for yeah. him. That puke was incredible. Should we tell Andrew Schultz to come in here if he's just sitting there? Yeah. Andrew! I'm going to grab him. That was quick. Huh. Oh, he's out. Oh, hey, yo! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Don't do us Braved like off. that. off. Damn. Don't do us like that, Drew. If you're sitting there, might as well just come in. What's up, boys? What up? Hey, hey how's it going? Good going. Hey, girl. Uh, it looks like this a This is boy. the Yak, a live YouTube show every day. Oh, alive. Okay. We found out that people actually climb up a, a fake mountain in Utah and call it Everest equivalents, and we're mad. Uh, I'm mad. Okay. We got under our skin. Uh, Andrew's got a new special out, theandrewschultz.com. Go check it. Yep. What are you doing? You just hanging out here? Do you work here now? I'm, I'm recovering from our conversation earlier, man. Yeah. Mm. We had. Oh, what did you guys uh, talk about? Pedophilia. A lot of pedophilia oh, talk. <laughs> a whole thing. Mm. Oh, Andrew wow. was like, "Why don't we do that anymore?" In the New York comedy <laughs> scene, or does that? <laughs> 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 Has that touched us yet, or no? Uh, yeah. Have we had any in New York? Okay, so Somewhere. who uh, of the New York comedians would most likely be a pedophile? Would most likely <laughs> touch the kids. This is yeah. this is good. I'm trying to think. Uh, let me go with a woman. So it's safer. Uh, That's smart. That's Michelle really Wolf. Hotter. Oh, there yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, her punter punter ass. Ass. Guaranteed. Yeah. Her diddling ass. ass. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. She's a fucking nonce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys go at it or what? <laughs> no, no. I, I just, uh, I'm just trying to affirm what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to ride with you. But the uh, special's incredible, though. I watched it uh, yesterday yeah, morning. Oh, before thank you, man. Before work, dude. Before work, I watched it. I just Respect. sat in and fucking watched it in the morning. It's a good morning special. Time Respect. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking dope, dude. Um, what Are you free tonight? You want to hang out? Yeah. Uh, what are we doing tonight? We, well, we need an opener in Philly for Sass's show. <laughs> and, uh, are you performing? Yeah. You are? Are you stand-up, man? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I dabble. Okay, good. What? Yeah. Where are you at in Philly? Helium. Helium, great yeah. club, man. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Good shit. Is this your open first time there? Yes, it is. I'm not opening for you, but uh, I <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty odd. Uh, thought about it for a second, and I'd be like, no, oh, that'd no, be a no. cool no. thing. And I was like, I ain't going to Philly, bro. And doing that. <laughs> Good for you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, okay. Almost yeah, yeah, sold out all four great. shows. Yeah. What? Helium well, is great. You yeah, sold out yeah, four yeah. shows in Helium? Uh, three. Damn, bro, I fell off. I should know who the fuck you are. No, no, no. Sass got his stuff. He's he just came up from Twitter and the internet. So really, he, a yeah. lot of I think a lot of people in the scene are kind of jealous or bitter at that because they had to grind and he just 
he's just headlining. He's done no work. He's just uh, uh, without being miserable. Madison Square Garden funny? next week. Are you funny, Sass? I don't know. You I, don't know? I say yes. That's the right answer. Mad. He's funny. Okay, good. I got to check out your stuff, man. He's yeah. the king of New York. Yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> you got to take him out now. You said the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, you gotta... Where are you from, Sass? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay, good shit, man. Yeah. Uh, helium's great. Yeah, I did excited. helium once and the, and the, the electricity went out. Really? Ooh. Yeah, and the whole venue, electricity went out. And then, uh, and they're so funny. They're like, well, what if we, we like gave you like a candle or something? Would you still want to do the show? And I'm like, man, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> you guys be do not want to lose these ticket sales at all. <laughs> oh, right. candle. Candle. No, I use my phone. I took my phone light. And I just put it on my face. Like a spooky story. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's kind of story. It was oh it was the God. best show because everybody thought fun. it was gonna get taken away, and then immediately they ended up getting it. Sass, dude. We got a dude in this office. His, uh, his name is Rudy, and I was talking to him. Where are you from? Uh, where am I from? Yeah, F Philly. The helium. He was born in the really? helium. Really? Yes, dude. Your accent. You have uh, yes. okay. an interesting accent. Yes, a Philly accent, dude. Is that? Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stelco. It's like from. Yeah, it's yeah. close to Philly. Philly, oh, dude. Philly's got the best. Yeah, I fucking love the Philly lean. Oh, the dope so fiend lean. lean? <laughs> oh, well, it's or if you eat a cheesesteak too, right? Oh, I thought what it was, was the dope fiend lean when you're oh, under Kensington that. and Kensington just, like, sloped up <laughs> over. Oh, yeah. that's fucking. Yeah, Philly's a wild fucking town. Okay, you were saying what? This dude, Rudy, is in the office, and a couple months ago, I was like, yo, do you fuck with Andrew Schultz? Like, do you like Andrew Schultz? Like, he's a pretty funny dude. He's like, nah, dude, I think that he's a threat. Like, he's too funny and too good-looking. <laughs> he's, like, too much of a... Uh, and, 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 and yeah, he was, yeah, he was the one who was holding was the like, camera in the studio. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly, I gotta go find dude. him. Yeah. Yeah. Sass, you wanna make your bones? <laughs> yeah, you gotta beat the fuck out of Rudy. Oh, wanna be man. part of the family, he's Sass? You wanna be part of the New York family? You ever just gotta to fuck that, that guy up. What? You're too hot for comedy. <laughs> no, I've never heard that once at all. I just got get told I have a big <laughs> nose constantly. <laughs> you gotta check out this dude. Ah, your dude. nose isn't that. Bad. I didn't think it was that bad. I went on uh, the fucking bad friends Santino and uh, Bobby Lee's podcast, and they have like this Filipino girl who sits there and does nothing, and uh, they're like, they just ask. <laughs> Why'd her, you like, point to Kate? When you <laughs> <laughs> well, she sits here, but you could be Filipino. <laughs> you know, I I won't say anything the rest of the show. No, I want <laughs> I want you to keep doing yeah. exactly what you've been doing um so, so and i just sat down there like hey do you, do you think andrew's good looking and she just goes no <laughs> like almost in like a hacky filipino accent like I, I was like are you doing it like putting this on and she goes no and then i, and I was like what's wrong she's like your nose takes up your whole face oh no <laughs> and then she says and it makes your eyes look small Whoa, oh now I God. see it. You, yeah, could, you had a rebuttal right. for that. I did have it. I said what you're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. We all thought the same thing. out of here. I literally. Oh. Yeah. I thought you'd be used to this. You're fucking... <laughs> I'll be the opposite then. <laughs> I have very low standards, and you're a solid yes for me. Oh, oh nice. Okay. Hey, I All right. love it, Kate. I'm a mom. Kate's, yeah, uh, Kate's you're a mom? Yeah, I can, can I ask yeah. you a question we were talking sure. about this earlier? Oh, no, it's, don't. Yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, no, 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 ask, yes. This, this is okay. about pedophilia. No, it's oh, not about it's pedophilia. Worse. Well, it's well is it close to? Oh, no. It's close to pedophilia. I guess it think could be pedophilia adjacent. Adjacent. Yeah. Okay. So earlier, <laughs> or earlier, and I don't want to take credit for this. You you said that your wife's pussy no, was I did the not. wettest. No, I did not. You said your wife's pussy Dang. was the wettest oh, during man. pregnancy. Oh, J Envy <laughs> said that. Oh. J Envy did J. not Envy say that. that. You're making that up. Yes. You're making that up. I was trying to talk to you about how I want to have kids soon with my wife, and you were like, "Yo, that shit is crazy." Yes, again, DJ Envy. <laughs> like that shit is shout out so DJ Envy. He's addicted to pregnant pussy. Uh, <laughs> that's a fetish. In I yeah. Yeah. It is. But yeah. so go ahead, ask your question. Okay, so is that <laughs> is that true? With the sheets looking mopped up, <laughs> like linoleum. Hey. What are you talking about? DJ Envy was about what was what DJ about Envy. him? DJ Envy's yeah. addicted to pregnant yeah. pussy. Addicted How did he outlast yeah. Jesus and Mero? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, he's a legend, dude. Pregnant <laughs> pussy man. He's a radio man. Like, too. You guys don't want to know the answer to this? If you saw my baby dad. Uh, Big mullet, coke nail. His name's the beef. The beef. beef. And you'd know the answer is yes. It's very, <laughs> it's very horny. Yeah. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Good shit. Okay, so uh -huh. now we know. It's confirmed. Yeah. yeah. You from are good source. with uh, you are good with accents. I feel like you're always like pointing out where people are from, like mm. culturally and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. I feel like that's like a skill of yours. I'm curious. Yeah. Like I heard what you. I thought you were actually southern. Really? At first. Oh. Now it sounds. Ooh, really we funny, have a southern first, guy. I thought you were so. I thought you had a little bit of a southern. A little guy. twang. Can we get Mincy in here, our southern guy. <laughs> yeah, we probably could. You could probably like uh, oh, my fair lady him to his neighborhood yeah. in Mississippi. Yeah. You, you gotta, gotta get Zah. Like, pick him out. Zah, talk. 
Yeah, what do you think about Zah? Zah, where are you from again? No, 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 he's, he, uh, well, he doesn't remember. Oh, I got to do the headphones. He guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he's got to put his headphones on. Pop those on. cans on. Pop the headphones on. Yeah. See if you can guess where Zah is from. Which, what um, should I say? Just anything. Give us some local lingo. Hello, how are you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Africa for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> oh, that's funny you say that. He's from Greenwich, Connecticut. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> how I see it. Say it one more I time. wish I was from Greenwich, uh, Connecticut. Boarding school. Yeah. Uh, what did I do? Now, where are you from again, bro? Davis, what do you say? Uh, Zimbabwe's finest, bro. Oh, Zimbabwe. Yes, yeah. sir. The finest. I got nothing from Zimbabwe. Yes, sir. He got no chokes in the chamber. God, no. I'll be honest. I didn't know that we had, I didn't know that there were, um, What? what is the right term? Dwarf? Is that? Uh, yeah, Nobody. apparently. Yeah, I thought that that was an American thing. Dwarfs and Down mm-hmm. syndrome. I didn't think that it was <laughs> really? outside of America. I swear to God, because yeah. I've, I've been a- fortunate enough yeah. to the travel, vaccines. and I've never seen it's the vaccine. This guy's from the South. <laughs> Definitely. 100%. No, and I thought that that was an only American thing. It was yeah, so you, so you have didn't. you seen those little Turkish people that <laughs> run around? They're not dwarven, but they, they're just tiny, tiny men. Like Hasbulla? Hasbulla. They're, they're proportions oh, he's are, from like Dagestan. They, they, yeah. Yeah, they all have wonky faces. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah a lot yeah, of inbreeding. Yeah. In is the, that what it is? Yeah, I think I think so. I mean, I like you're going oh, all chill, in. Don't put Dagestan smut on my man Zaz's name. <laughs> What's this? Is not, this is, this I don't not think that's it. Mustard on Zaz's yeah. jacket. This is, this is the Turkish fellas. Yeah, yeah. I got to look into the Turk. I don't like their whole thing with the ice cream. Just give me the fucking ice cream. Oh, when they when he tricks them? Yeah. I would I would punch someone for that. So like you're seeing they're not you're you're getting ripped off because typically when you get an ice cream cone, they stuff it. They stuff the cone. Yeah. This cone is completely hollow. Yeah, can we see that video too? All of ice cream. Yeah. The, they, they just fucking play with you the whole time. <laughs> I like that that's the part that pisses me off. <laughs> I'm not getting enough ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that's a ripoff. Yeah, look at this. I would be so mad. What are we doing here, right? It's half a scoop. Yeah. And why does he have a paddle? <laughs> oh, that. now I take that. Oh. Damn, dude. I didn't realize this is turkey. What the fuck? Yeah, it's too much. No, that would drive me nuts. Yeah. Way too much. Ennis Cantor? The only time I was dry my whole pregnancy was when my baby dad got juked by one of these guys. <laughs> yeah, you watched him? You watched him get <laughs> juked? Get cocked? You juked. Like, you yeah. got, you got yeah. tricked. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, no, not yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah that you're not alone. a man. You're not Damn a man. It. Yeah, he lost his man card. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There yeah, is. there's him. That's the B, the Wait, baby is dad. Is that that's your husband? Yeah. No, just baby dad. <laughs> oh, just ba- are you guys broke up? But, no. Um, oh. No, we didn't break up. No. Oh, you're still together? We're still together. Are you going to get married? No. Why not? That's not my vibe. Oh, come on with all that. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what is that? What is, do the thing. Be an adult. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is my partner. Like, it was great yeah. when Joey walked by and saw Andrew, and he was like, he saw his ring, and he was like, oh, no, he got married. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, Joey, but I think he, he was straight before he got married, so. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's what's stopping us. Yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah. damn, Joey, I'm sorry, bro. I was going to let you bust these cheeks, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> fortunately, I got a wife. <laughs> <laughs> damn. That sucks. He was so heartbroken. He loves you. Yeah. You got a lot of fans in this. He's a good guy. Yo, Barstool is fucking crazy right now. We're next up. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Look out. Look out. An eye out. Oh, Oh, it's good. Like, the, the office has even changed. Have you guys felt that way? In what way? I don't know. You got gays, women. I know. Yeah, it's different. It's, it's, it's true. Crazy. It, yeah. it did not look like this five years ago. Uh, no, that's true. Right? Yeah. We're about oh, to it was get... just like seven seven of us. Yeah, it was know, just like seven guys. guys. Tico's in Ibiza. She's not even here. Who's Tico? Right. She's yeah. You got a black girl, bro. Go tech. You've got a black girl? Black girl. Whoa. Same, bro. Check this another box off. Progress. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, progress. It's yeah. moving fast. What's up with you, buddy? This is over. Chilling, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Sort of what I do. You just answered yeah. your own question. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? I, I, this yeah, vibe is interesting. I like him. Uh, oh, this is a show Mike. about nothing. Yeah, every yeah. day. I produce their like podcast. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I just gotcha. happen to be in the room. Yeah, gotcha. You yeah. look like that fucking actor, the guy who played uh, the bad guy in Superman. The fuck mm. is his name? Ah, uh, he's a great character. I don't know. Actor. I've heard Sloth you know from Goonies. Mm-hmm. Nah, Sloth from Goonies is disrespectful. Um, yeah, that's an old. That's an old reference. Arguably, this is, yeah. this is a fresh you know reference. What I'm talking about? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Fuck. Marvel, Kryptonite. Anyway. Um, who cares? So, uh, yeah, guys. Dude, what we what you got to do uh, the next time? You got to have this dude Pat stay on your show. I wanted him when he was on. This battle rapper. Yeah, he's fucking phenomenal. He just did a compliment battle uh, in here, and uh, he was like too scared to like hit you up and be like, "Dude, I'm in the city." But no, he did hit me up. He did. Uh, I was on my honeymoon. Drunk. Mm. But uh. I want he's fucking him, dude. He always goes like super sus around the rap dudes. 
Yeah, wait, 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 which one was this? The super jack dude. Uh, I did a compliment battle with him like a while ago. Hey, you can spit. Yeah, I did like yeah, well. a, a little compliment with him, but he loves you, and I feel like he be it would be great for you should have him on and like have him come like roast you or battle you or something dude, I, on your show or something like that. So maybe yeah. this is actually a good idea that we're gonna give away live, but don't tell Pat. So maybe we act like I prepared the rap. But you really oh, help me. Oh, give him something. And now we're not, you know, everybody knows, so it's okay, but just don't tell Pat. Right, right, right. They and, won't tell Pat. No, they're cool. Or I tap you in. Maybe I just do one verse and then I tap you. Tag team? Tag yeah, team him in. But we would get sus, though. We would wind up fucking me and Pat. That's we, fire, though. Yeah, it would you be, know what I mean? It would be, be good sick, for the dude. Patreon. Hell there was, yeah. There was like a video when we did our compliment battle where I was like pretending to suck his dick and like the whole rap community really, t really they didn't like it. They didn't like it at it all. Dude. He it just was... took off his headphones. <laughs> 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 it, it was too much or what? <laughs> yeah, it was too realistic looking, dude. His cum was on my face. It was like, <laughs> That's fire, man. Yeah, we also doing? bounce around the idea if you wanted to borrow it, uh, having Zai at your side to hold the mic down for your N words. That's what he opened. Does the fucking not show will. with this is I, I go this is the first time we've ever spoken. oh yeah he goes are we recording is okay Schultz got a new special it's behind a paywall so if you want to hear the n-words you got to pay <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah just enough you said you had just enough just enough just enough just enough hey do you um do you want to we, we do a case race you want to be in one yeah, what's that mean? No. Oh, perfect. You, just yeah, come one day. Yeah, just come. Great for we'll work. Yeah, it'll be great. What? It, what is a case race? No, we just drink a shitload of beer and then get way too drunk, and everyone's like, why are they so drunk? <laughs> we had Shane Gillis come and do the last one. Oh, nobody's being well. Shane. No, he kicked our asses. Yeah, yeah. Rushed. But it was yeah. an L all around. <laughs> it was a bad day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we uh, all. We're not funny or entertaining. We, we just all ended up fighting. <laughs> it was yeah. like eight guys in a room just like furiously drunk, screaming <laughs> yeah. at each other. I, I like hours. this energy. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's yeah. chaos. It's very funny. But you it come? Felt, it felt like watching a social experiment. No, I didn't go to this one, but I watched it, and it was like watching, like it felt like, like people at Yale like put it together the <laughs> watch experiment. It the window and see what happens when you get and it explaining just spiraled the, it explaining really. the idea of it doesn't do it justice because it yeah. makes it sound funny yeah, yeah. It's not, it was it's bad it's like no i think some people could have pulled it off we didn't yeah steven tried to fight shane dark. uh for all asians everywhere steven yeah, our producer right there. Oh, wrestle okay. yeah, wrestle. Yeah. wrestle i might have started asian. that you're asian yeah, yeah. half yeah what type of asian Ray, uh, he's racist against Asians. Yeah, but the, the Asians he only likes the racist, NFL. Uh, you don't put that on. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? What happened? What type of Asian? Chinese. I'm half. Oh, uh, what's the other half? White. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's never disclosed. just enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, has he ever came out? Has he ever admitted that? Or come out. As what type of white he is? Yeah. Oh, does it what matter? What type of white are you? Lithuanian and Irish. Okay. All right. That's pretty white. Yeah. Lithuanian is like, Mixed. you're getting over there. White people don't really consider Russians white. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> really? No. It's like not really. Especially like, it's like the uh, caucus ones. Yeah. It's like no. they're white, but we don't like, I was saying this on another podcast somewhere, but like, like white people talk about them the same way they talk about like, uh, like black and like hip hop culture. Like they'll, they'll yeah. be like, oh, there's a lot of Russians in that bar. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they are like physically white as possible. Like, yeah. They're just not Russian. Yeah. Well, There's a danger I, to Russians. They're a little dangerous. Oh, I like well, Russians. Yeah. I used to live in Woodlawn in the Bronx, which is a real Irish neighborhood here, yeah. and the Albanians started moving in. Oh, yeah. All the Irish were like, there goes the neighborhood. There goes. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked. No. Yeah, they. <laughs> Uh, different Eastern European slaps a little different. It's a, it it deeper, definitely does. We keep the same energy. Yeah. Us whites. <laughs> Fuck yeah. At all times, dude. Yeah, uh, coming for a case race. It'll be terrible. Yeah. yeah it when, will ruin your career for a little bit. <laughs> when do you week. guys when do you guys do the case race? Whenever someone's birthday comes up. Oh, is, are you going on Dave Portnoy's show? I think I got it. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. That How much sense. did your studio cost? Um a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Who asked that? Was that you, Matt? Oh, that was, that was him. Oh. Yeah. That was Owen. Motherfuckers. All right, well, oh, go buy lot. the special, the Andrewschultz.com. He was on PMT. It's coming out Monday. It was great. He's gonna be on Dave Portnoy's show. Yes. You're doing the rounds. You're doing the barstool hey, car wash. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah. You can't make it hot on the internet if you're not on Barstool. That's a fact. That's what, what clip that. again. Right, we're next up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good to meet you. All right, thanks, great to man. meet you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh <laughs> Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yes, that would actually be very fun. Thank you. Dude, he almost opened for you for a second there. That, that was close. He was going to do it, dude. That, that was close. Yeah. He was so um, close. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was so close. Yeah. It was like right there. So close. So that would have been awesome, but that would have destroyed my show. 
on all levels. Why? I'm not going to go up after Andrew Schultz. Yeah, they would have followed him out the club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the bar across the street. I would just go out and say, that's the show. Thanks for coming out. Dude, he's, Easy money. he's toothsome. You can see it, his molars. Uh-huh. Yeah? I've seen a lot of teeth yeah. in his mouth. Have you guys seen his podcast studio? Is no, it's not. You, you mentioned it. What is it new? Yeah, it looks like the set for like Ellen or like an LA talk. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Can we see it, TJ? Who owns the podcast? I just need company. a mic. I just need yeah. a mic. Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah, he's doing own. pretty well. By the way, can I just say just me like and Mike a separate? That was really good job by everyone. Yeah, we, we didn't really burn come the, on, the, and it, it worked. I didn't get cheated. We've been on a cold streak with comedians. We just tell you that was oh, we knocked that out of the park. It was because Nick wasn't here. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Nick <laughs> ruined the vibes. <laughs> totally kills the yeah. vibes. It's like that but group that's... of girls that Barstool's Instagram always posts who are like, we're drunk right now, but we're thriving. We're not like <laughs> dancing on the tables. We're not doing anything crazy. We were, we were, we thriving. did it. We, we did, did it. Thrive, and but we did good. Yeah. yeah, we did. We just had was, him on. It was yeah. funny. He also took opening for Sass graciously. Some other guys might have, if you Yeah. Were, yeah. He helped. Oh, that would have been, yeah. been, he brought, he brought, he reciprocated the energy and yeah. added some, which I respected. We're comedian equivalent. His EQ might be just higher. I felt like I had just have scene. a better yeah. emotional intelligence. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah, that, that was big by us. That's like, we don't oh, yeah, get that type it. of growth. It looks wild. like the old Jerry Springer set. That is an awesome set. I think it's real brick. So the problem, though, with that set, and I would love to ask him, is like, I think that when you go on a set like that, people have a different energy. Right now, though? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because they're like now, on yeah. a show. It looks like an old is making set. probably a little more. Like nice. when people come to PMT and they sit on that fucking gross couch that's like disgusting and held up by paint cans, I think they're like, "Well, this shows a joke." Yeah, I think that. Oh, does I feel like this I has think it to relaxes be a transition. Yeah. Kind of like yeah, that's okay, what I'm saying. Like if you go on that, is. it's like a real thing. Plus, they all wear Ferragamo on his show and shit. Like everybody on the show is wearing Ferragamo. like designer shit. Like everybody's yeah. wearing expensive clothing. You go to fucking France once and you say that. Ferragamo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. mosaic? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's an insane. Old <laughs> in glass? <laughs> My God. That's crazy. Whoa. 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 Jesus. What the heck? Yeah, that's too nice. That you guys fuck with it? That is glass? insane. Yes. I big time. That. Really? I love yes. stained heavier. glass. It needs, to be, yeah. it needs to be more utilized. Really? Yeah. Stained glass? I so agree. sick. I think it's fine, but then I'll hear some people, I'll bring it up, and people will like be will swoon over stained glass, and it really, I, I it's, it's cool. I think but a I, naked silhouette behind stained glass is probably the most erotic image. That exists. <laughs> Real? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're fucking, you have yeah. a, a nice palate for erotica. Yeah. I was going to say, you what know, was your church experience like? Oh, my God, so no, on seniors Catholic. coming around, Church, the, yeah, yeah. On seniors were the um, where they were the most dangerous. Coming from the sacristy, <laughs> or no, the yeah. uh, who were the ones that could get deacons? The vestibule. Oh yeah, oh, deacons. The vestibule. Were the vestibule. Yeah, around a little That's bit. Right. Deacons were fucking on the side. Yeah. yeah. Priests with hall passes. Bro, and you were an altar server, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, same. I was as well. Yeah. Fun well, stuff. I had the some funerals were where the money was at. True. Did you guys get five bucks for those? Yep, funerals and weddings. Did funerals? Really? Yeah. You get taken get out of school class, for it. Yeah, yep. to go, you get more uh, for a funeral man. than a wedding? Depends on the family. <laughs> I wasn't wedding team. talent. I never got the call up, to, to be read. honest. I used, to, also I used to shoot, shoot yeah. speeches at church. Oh, yeah. You mean oh, readings? You were a, uh, you read uh, read speeches? What was it called? Oh, is that when you fell in love with the stage? Yeah, that's when I knew. I would open. I would go improv. Yeah, obviously. So you doing characters or mainly impressions? It's a fertile. I mean, the Bible's a fertile book to make fun of. There's a lot of stuff you can poke fun at in there. Funny names, get, crazy ideas. I used to get so fucking nervous for that. I threw up on the altar once. Really? I got so nervous. Uh, it was like my first time. My first Sunday it was the 1015, which is the Ooh. mass. It's really popping. Oh, heavy oh. hitter. That's and like Sass's. That's that why you're not going to get married? Yep. Yeah, yeah, never. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I got so nervous. It was during the sermon. So the priest is talking and they had this huge, beautiful rug and I just blew up Fruit Loops oh. and milk everywhere all over the... And the milk? It, yeah. and we, we, and how many the people milk? were there watching? That That's like... It was a packed mass. It was like a packed mass. I would have killed to have witnessed that in church. Yeah. Yeah. I've never gotten yeah. to see anything out of the... I loved when yeah. something, like when like a... Not even like a faint? Little babies, like Not even a faint. Oh, yeah. dude, the best was we had a toddler faint into the fountain once. Oh, oh, oh my yeah. God. How's was yeah. a toddler fainting? Dude. Oh, no, man. They must have been running them. Glory of God <laughs> just took them over. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been the where the priest baptizing the baby and they're just throwing the yeah, baby around dunking them so yeah. hard. Oh, probably yeah. some turkish shit oh, that's i like love that greek orthodox, orthodox. i'm that video orthodox. yeah just went ham on them yeah greek orthodox is is strong that's uh that's a they're yeah. very it's a very, in their it's a very jewish 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like orthodox. Oh, my God. Oh, here it is, yeah. As a parent, I would die. Whoa! (laughs) What? (laughs) Oh, my God. Hey, yo. He's having fun. Oh, no, he's not. Is this a a sketch or a real? There was an overlay of uh, Uh, I know the the audio was fake, but was that that was real? Oh, that's real. There's other more violent ones. There's more that's like, yeah, yeah, there's crazy. That seemed shit. I have a question, though. Can you christen people in, like, just pools? I think. I think there's Catholic. some religions yeah. that do it uh, in it the ocean, right? Adult oh, yeah. baptisms uh, are done in like Red pool. Sea, maybe. Also, there's such thing as emergency baptisms. Well, if the, if the baby's die? about to die. Yeah, That's or it. anybody. If you're on a flight, you could use a bottle of water. I saw it. Did yeah. you guys watch the Netflix special, Our Father? It's so fucked up. Mm-hmm. It's a dude in Indianapolis who, like, all these women were going to get... Uh, inseminated oh, yeah. because they couldn't have kids with like their husband or whatever and he was just using his own cum yes <laughs> and oh. he has like 80 kids mm-hmm. and they oh, all I've heard about this they all found out through 23 and me like slowly they're like wait why am I why am I like close relatives to this random person who what lives down the street was this? it was like the 70s and 80s still alive. Yeah. Had to be the yeah he's still alive he clearly didn't think that like 23 and me would come around right. Apex and America. they were he would like literally like they would he would bring the women in Sit him down, and then he go jerk off and and, yeah. and do it. Well, there's so a guy. Fucked. There's a guy here Yuck. in New York City who's kind of infamous, and so that because it's really expensive to do that so, shit. Yeah. And so he'll he like puts an ad on Craigslist, and he'll meet you in a Starbucks. He goes into the bathroom first. There's an article about it. You can read how they do it. He goes into the Starbucks bathroom, jerks off. Uh, then the woman who wants to get pregnant takes like a turkey baster in there. They exchange the cum. She what? goes into the Starbucks bathroom right then and there. Uh, let me show everyone. He's a horny Ooh. Batman. And then, <laughs> but he's got like he's got. <laughs> but he's got like he's got like forty kids in New York City. And the mom oh, cool to explain the the turkey baster right. like, I'm, like I'm five. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> what you do? But yeah, so he's got like forty something. Is he like is like he like good looking? To work he's like a math like professor or something oh, like that. Okay. So he's smart, and so he just does this for Probably free. Hot. But he has had a couple women then. Change their minds and come at him for child support. No, there's no like law involved. Law. Oh, and like, why would he? Why would he want to do it for free? He just likes the. Act I think of it's like. Off. I think it's like it's like thing. It. You can read articles about the guy. It's well, so there's, there's guys a, who want to like spread their seed. Yeah, like, yeah there's yeah. a whole yeah. and Elon Musk. Oh yeah, they found out about like this like part oh. of the documentary. They like found out like there's this like cult ish kind of like religion religious sect that basically is only about like having as many kids as possible. And they're like, that might be why he did it. Yeah. I also wonder, like, it was just some fucking fat doctor from Indiana. Like, if he was, like, a yeah. good athlete, would people be as mad? Yeah. yeah. Like, because that would be, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if all these kids, like, went to the NBA. If he had developed well, well, out. I guess or if they were all just decent. They were yeah. all starting on their varsity yeah. yeah, like, they all, yeah, right. Yeah. Indiana's got big high school basketball. Isn't there, like, a Vince Vaughn movie about this? <sighs> no, Robert, is or De Niro or something? Red Claws? No, I think it's Vince Vaughn. And he has like eighty kids, and like one of them's yeah. in the NBA. Like he. Oh, I met out. Vince Vaughn, by the way. I forgot to tell you guys. Yeah, no way. Oh, really? Rolled yeah, into the World series. series of Poker. Yeah, I bumped into. Ooh, yeah. Him. Wow. His intro was some weird. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh, was competing sports. What was stuff. the vibes? Uh, uh, he was getting carried in like a chariot. Shaw. Yeah. Wow. But what were you saying, KB? About the turkey baster. I, I, oh. look, I'm over that. This is him, by the way, the Sperminator. As of 2016, 2017, he had 26 kids, many fathered in Target bathrooms. Um, the Brooklyn, what? the Atlantic Center Target, downtown Fake. Brooklyn. It's so I know that Target. They don't even have bathrooms. <laughs> so they meet him up. In downtown Brooklyn? Yeah, the one right across yeah. from Park. They don't have yeah, earbuds a- for Apple iPhones. They don't have bathrooms either. They have fake plants, though. The movie's called the movie Delivery Man. Crazy. It's 500 Man? children. Whoa. Just a sperm donor. Comedy, though. Yeah. Gotta get Mary him on funny. McAfee. He Share goes into story. the bathroom, pleasures himself while watching porn on his iPhone, and ejaculates into a soft cup. Then menstrual. This is oh, an like article? a menstrual cup. He like. You think you get to pick the off porn? One of those. He assumed he was watching porn. I would porn. hope so. Like the woman should get to pick the porn. But porn. Yeah, you don't watching. want a hentai yeah. baby. Yeah. Right. No, you're like, right. Uh, you're right. What incest so baby? Or like you accidentally yeah. come when the, it's the angle of the guy's asshole. Yeah. Like <laughs> that baby's gonna be all yeah. fucked up. After yeah. I do that, I, oh, right. I I do penance. Yeah. 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 Yeah, where you just get like a quick camera change at the wrong time. It You're like, oh, fuck. Me. I feel like it's just my luck, but it yeah. happens a lot. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Or just luck. like, yeah. it's like the one angle of just a stroke face. of fortune, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'll open just up. like her asshole. Yeah. I'll open up like, what the for fuck? a sec. Does anybody the- laugh? Has anybody found themselves just having to stop because they were laughing? 
I watched During a, porn? Yeah, I watched a girl uh, flip a guy around and she started being the missionary. and He was spread. I just had to close my laptop. I was dying <laughs> laughing, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, edging. I, that's edgy comedy. I used to do reviews of when COVID first hit, I was just doing reviews of COVID porn, like COVID themed porns. Oh, so some DIYs. I was like, oh no, we're stuck in this house together and they're both in the mop suits trying to like fuck each other. (laughs) And they were so Mm. bad that, yeah, no, I couldn't couldn't do it. (laughs) Anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? (laughs) Just to circle back to Deacons, that in in British rap culture, they'll like call, they'll like big someone up. They'll be like, this man is the Deacon. Like, it's like a term, like, he's the man. This dude is the deacon. Hmm. That shit didn't make Fuck. any fucking sense to me. That is weird. This guy is Jeez. the deacon. It was kind of in my head, and I just haven't been able to shake that thought as we've moved on yeah. from deacons, and it's just that I had to unburden myself right there. The deacon. This dude well, the is deacon the got a little priest clout, but he also got to be married and have sex. And have a Mercedes, if you Yeah, he still yeah. got the cool clothes. Wasn't there a deacon in King of Queens as well? Mm, I didn't ever watch that show, actually. Jerry Stiller, and maybe? I knew about Funk. it. Mm. I don't think I've ever watched a full episode of King of Queens. That was probably bigger here than anywhere else, I would imagine. What, what year was King of Queens? Mid-90s? Oh, yeah, Deacon. Probably like the turn Deacon of the... Deacon Palmer. Really? Is that old? Oh, he's yeah, a Deacon is Deacon? Is Jerry Stiller dead or alive? He's dead. Oh, he's dead. Damn. He's dead. That sucks. Leah Romini no longer a Scientologist. That's right. Uh, I think that's one of those things like once a Scientologist, always one. I, I don't think you, you can leave. Isn't that some weird yeah. ass? Well, she yeah. did a whole, uh, I mean, she did that whole s- series about it where she was talking about it, telling all their secrets. Wouldn't it Wouldn't it be like ultimate Scientology? Oh, yeah, yeah. Double cross, out? double cross. Yeah, to be like, hey, let's 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 get everyone like. It's the- terrible. They give you millions of dollars and yeah. let you fuck who you want. Yeah. I don't seen. know if it was Scientologists or um, one of the other ones, the Jehovah's Witnesses, but I went hiking the other weekend on the Appalachian Trail, like middle of nowhere, and I'm about three miles in, and I go over this bridge, and I make this turn in the middle of the woods, and there in the middle of the woods, like no one else around, were three, there were either Scientologists or Jehovah's Witnesses, in their Sunday best, like Suits, hell no. Ties. I would be so scared. Perfect shoes, untouched oh. by mud or dirt. I hate. That. And they had the five foot pamphlet holder with all their pamphlets. What? Like on the trail Where, in, what, the in, of, in uh, New York and upstate New Up- Jersey, where the Appalachian oh, Trail shit. goes through. I was like in out Rada there. there. Did you talk to him? I made a joke. I had, I had my son on oh, my the, back in the little were... hiking pack, and I was like, "Oh, we're just because he started waving to mm-hmm. them," and I was like, "No, no." Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, I has made some little joke at them, but then I fucking beeline. Holy fuck! Yeah. What did you say him? That's scary. I don't even remember what I said, but I was like, "Oh, beautiful day for a hike." Oh, I don't know. You should not like, be in the weird. woods. The Maccabiah Games are going on, right? Yes, the Jewish that's Olympics, right. the third True. largest sporting event they in the ain't world. Jewish dude, yeah. ten thousand athletes. But those dudes yeah. ain't Jewish. Oh, they weren't. They're Jehovah. <laughs> what oh. the fuck? I thought Carl? you said they were either Jewish or Jehovah. No, oh. Jehovah's Witnesses were like Scientology. I don't know what they okay. were. But they were facing. <laughs> oh, they're they're harmless then. <laughs> KB's <laughs> anti-Semitism <laughs> radar went up. Like, what are these fucking oh, Jews doing in the woods? Well, they're <laughs> not during the Maccabiah game. Yeah, not during the Maccabiah. What the fuck is their problem? <laughs> They weird. should be harassing people oh, outside a golf shit. course in upstate oh, New York. That video is insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Watch that. We were probably close to Curious Yoil. oil. It's like I my probably was. Orange so. County. I went to get ice cream afterwards, and all yeah. the ice cream was kosher. That's oh, you were in like. Barney. I would love to see that video. <laughs> yeah. Which one? No. A uh, golf car one. <laughs> one. K- KB turns into the it honeycomb. It is so <laughs> <and> funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's one of my favorite videos Good I've boys. ever seen. Yeah. I watched Ocean's Eleven last night. What a good movie. It's a good movie. Dude, I had a film teacher who tried to tell me that it sucked when I was in college. I was like, I, uh, like, he was what, like, what movies do you like? like? That is, like, that's the just classic film. The people. ultimate movie. I said it's the worst of its kind. Mm. It's still a great movie. All Pixar movies are great. Mm. You didn't let me finish. Mm. Nobody let me finish. Mm. But Ocean's Eleven is incredible. So I hate when film people try and say that movies that are like objectively amazing and they're like, well, no, they dialogue hate, could have used some work. They hate yeah. cool movies. Yeah. I also wish I had the ability to like, it's like with art and movies and music, like I have, you could put a movie in front of me and, and all the critics could be like, it's the worst. I'd be like, that was awesome. Yeah. Like, what are you watching? Like, I want to see people be cool. Yeah. It's but kind like, of entourage. I want to see Look Brad Pitt run a heist. Five out of ten. But how do people become critics? Like, even like food. Like, you go out to a restaurant. You just like, have to be oh, a Oh, it dick. wasn't. Snarky dick. Yeah. 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 No, the steak was good. I don't know. What, do, what else do you want me to say? Especially because it's like, 
Yeah. A lot of work goes into that shit. Yeah. Well, it's I'll eat anything. Like, yeah. not good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, oh. Like a chef? This scene. A local chef? Sense. Yeah. Oh, this was bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Then you make something better. I should be a food critic and just be like, yeah, it was That's good. why I always try to muscle down. Like pizza scores and shit. No what? Yeah, oh, pizza yeah. scores. Like, he you should have ordered something you knew you liked. Yeah. Yeah. It's your fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Order regret. Yeah. Or just be like, yeah, it's not for me. When's the little- last time you've discovered a new food that you liked? And you were like, wow, this oh, is a new fuck. food that I like. Mine's fruity jam on breakfast sandwiches. Probably Lomo Saltado. But you kind of already knew you liked those. I got it this weekend. And- it was so good. You already knew you liked those ingredients. Yeah. Chicken tikka masala was probably the last for me. Is it weird if I say double Ritz? Oh, I double Ritz. Trying to get you to yeah. say that. Let's get Double Ritz again yeah, today. Spin it. What if we get Double Eat Ritz it. again today? We all eat one that comes. Use, use code YAK for 20% off your first purchase at Roback.com. Roback. Best in the biz. Wow, what's use your latest it? food? Fruity jam on breakfast sandwiches. Fruity jam on breakfast. Yeah, you I have been late. on a jam mood. Yeah. Berea tacos I was laid on with like yes. the, the dip, the au jus yes. kind of dip. I went There's in a, then oh. out. Too, too wet. There's a oh. place in, in uh, Brooklyn that is like maybe the greatest tacos I've ever had in my life that has yeah. Maria, and I was just So like, good. Nick's got a taco spot that's the best tacos in the city. Maresh's spot. Oh, it's Maresh's. I'm telling spot. you, this, this place Korea. is better. I'm telling you it I don't, is. Yeah, I disagree. Tell Let's go ahead. Oh, look Alan. at the pictures. Let's go ahead and this Look at the pictures. This place is so good because there probably is pay for both. online. This place is so good, it's like a bodega, and there's also a taco spot involved. No, this is an actual restaurant. In a okay, basement. so I Very think nice I won vibe. this argument then. No. You can't say best in the city unless you tried everything in the city. Look up Nene's best Taqueria. N e n e s. I'm gonna get that taco truck today. Oh, so good. So hungry. Yeah. yeah, that is that's very good. But I'm not claiming it's the best in the city, but it's one of the better ones that are locally available. I think it's N E. The honesty in that review makes me want to listen to it more. Yeah, I love fucking place. That first episode where you put them when you put us on to him. Look at these things. Best in the city. Huh. What are we, no, what are we looking at here? I never said that. Look yeah, no, no, no. You like a more like gimmicky Instagram look reels those tacos. meal. Let me see those tacos. Yeah, those look really good. Damn. Yikes. That looks incredible. Are you serious? You think that doesn't look good? You think those got don't me look drooling. good? And they look great. They look like something you would love. Is what that, does that mean? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> look at that. Yeah, that's that's busy. Yeah, I don't that's like a busy. busy? Taco. Yeah, that's a busy. Look at this. I don't like a busy taco. Oh, that looks. Yeah, good. I, I don't like when food is too. Dude, that looks good. No, KB that's likes good. tacos that are a uh, half an inch long, and I've seen you order them. Yeah, before. I like. Yeah. I think anything should be. I like food as at its smallest. Miniature and thinnest. Bite-sized. It tastes better. Bite-sized food tastes better. We know this. Do you like that <laughs> catering show? Smash. The I hate when people say food is fun to eat. When like there's like a food show, and they'll be like, "Yeah, this one was fun to eat." Like, what do you mean yeah. it was fun? Ooh, to eat? cannoli dip. Did you guys consider a burrito to I be a, uh, fine, bro. a food that you need to be sitting down to eat, or could you walk with a burrito? We oh, can walk with a burrito. Could walk. Okay. I walked with a burrito Please. last night. It was amazing. So good. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only yeah, way. Was, I was, yeah. the was it fun? Were you oh, hoping yeah. we all said like, no way anybody could do and that? Said, yeah, like, holy like, yeah, fuck, yeah. dude! <laughs> you guys said no. I've been like, no, yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking psycho to do that. You did a whole burrito? Oh yeah. <laughs> did you stop it all? Uh no, it was I was just letting it free fall. Cro- crosswalks? Oh yeah. But that's what's you good about walking with it. Did and you eat stop it. at the crosswalk and eat? Yeah. Were those the big bites? No, they were all the same. Mm. Little hands on uh, dreadle action. I feel like you kind of you a walking equivalent of a burrito. Come again? Mm-hmm. You I'm the walking equivalent of Oh, you, you ate, you were walking equivalent. You weren't fully walking while you were eating. Oh, you like Everest, Everest equivalent. Yeah. You didn't Everest. You would it. definitely get sponsored if you Everest did while eating a burrito. While eating a burrito. The whole time. Chipotle. Did you see the guy who just went up Pike's Peak pushing a peanut with his nose the whole way? Oh, my God. That's the thing a guy just did. He taped. What a, does that mean? He put on like a Bane mask, taped a, a kitchen spoon to it, and he literally started at the bottom and he. Flicked a peanut Why? up the all the way to the top. TikTok before TikTok, no one was doing this. Yeah. No. Oh, he's an TikTok older guy. Sucks. The first guy lost a bet in like 1920 and did it. People push. Yeah, there he what goes. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a thing. Fourth person. <laughs> yeah, the first yeah. guy in like 1924. <laughs> You're <laughs> not even the first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even meddle. He's getting a certificate still? Yep. What the, the fuck? He's got the peanut in an, that, dude. Like an engagement yep. ring. He's also got his PayPal oh, QR code no. on yeah. his chest. Mm-hmm. Dude, this guy was That's the smart. fourth? That sucks. The first yeah. guy in like 1929 lost a bet, like at a bar. It sounds and he like, had to yeah. Do it. 
like another a, guy did it to promote his music career. Twister. See, if someone did that, I would say that's Everest equivalent. Yeah. The peanut? Yeah. It wasn't even one peanut. It was two dozen different peanuts. Oh, that's bullshit. Person you have to have the same peanut. peanut. Yeah, yeah. I tried to watch a video of him doing oh, it. And he's on all fours. He flicks it and he's like, no, oh, where'd my peanut go? And it takes him a minute to find it. He flicks oh it again. He's like, oh, well, I thought he like go? didn't drop it the entire time. No. no, he's on all fours like an animal flicking it with his nose on the ground. Oh, that's up the so mountain. dumb. Yeah. It's impressive. Hey, we should watch it. That's Everest. <laughs> <laughs> say, what were you going to say, yes. Stephen? I don't know if this is weird or not, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. it's about to be. Weird. Yep. Yeah, go uh, ahead. With walk, eating a burrito while walking in high school, I'd regularly walk home and eat a foot long tuna sub. <laughs> <sighs> it was cut in half, but this was several times a week. I think there's something freeing about walking while you eat because you don't have to yep. worry about uh, what gets on the table, what gets on your shoes, getting right. a stance. Mm -hmm. As Leave long as you behind. don't. Tuna is a good meat for that sandwich, too. Yep. This is the Pikes Very Peak binding. Yeah. Brad Pitt well, oh, my God. So there's much. rocks and Cassie shit. Cassie crawls the whole way. <laughs> I don't even think. He's so. looking for it. What else? Yes. Oh, my Black God. Black. What a psycho. Yeah. I'm surprisingly in really good shape. I don't, I don't feel sore <laughs> or anything. It's right, I like him. I like him. Yeah. Yeah. I like him, too. The minute he started. not for TikTok. The minute he started talking. I know I lost some weight. His nose plugged up. I know I lost a lot of weight. I love him. That's one way to. I like that guy. Yeah. I'm in on that guy. Yeah, he's a treat. <laughs> oh my god, that was yeah, awesome. He just wanted to do that. Yeah, that's fucking sweet. Respect to him. Mm -hmm. TikTok is back. Did we talk about Roback? We, we did, but you can do it again, and we should spin mm -hmm. the wheel. I, w I hope I don't not. even have to. You guys saw how comfortable I was yesterday. Roback is the best, dude. Yeah, I feel like you've been uh, kind of on a comfortable hot streak, Owen. Ever yeah. since you started yeah. wearing Roback, you just have been so comfortable in every aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. I've been just sleeping better. Um, mental health's good. I'm getting tickets to games easier. Mm -hmm. Keep on meeting Influencer status. Yesterday we saw somebody uh, buy the exact sweatshirt you were Influencer status. Oh, yeah, I'm not ah. sure. I was just explaining a bunch of different sponsors at once. Yeah, that was good. Trying to. No, you're influencer status now. Tell him about a sweatshirt. I was gonna say. Confirmed. I was gonna say. I, I wonder what like we could get people to do being influencers, like the dumbest thing. And then I remembered everyone's chugging wood. So mm -hmm. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. My <laughs> inbox is thick with people drinking. It's only shampoo. dumb until you try it. It's <laughs> yeah. Have you guys tried putting it in the freezer for a little bit? Let oh, yeah. it get yeah. slushy. Like Thin Mints? <laughs> yeah. I, I so left one in good. and it exploded. Fill them, fill them with Skittles, sour Skittles, and then put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I like to pour one in there. Uh, like <laughs> I put it in a watermelon <laughs> and then cut it up into yeah, cubes. Yep. The watermelon. Yep. 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 Mm. It's curtains. A lot of ways. It's curtains. Yeah. It's curtains. All right, spin that. You can do a number with that. Mm. Uh oh. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> yep. Okay, so all right, and this is on. We have to f figure out who Maybe it's like on. Next yeah, we have to figure out who it's on. Who it's on. Right, Wait, I thought we didn't we cut that deal that it's it's that gonna Nick be done to on me. It. It's gonna be done on Zah. Yes, yeah, so it's oh. gotta decide yeah. who's doing it. Okay. Doing it. Yes, that's right. Uh, Thank you. Zah. All right, Zah is the permanent yeah. subject of it. All right, so this yeah, will be. We don't have to rush this. <laughs> yeah, no. Next <laughs> week, I think everyone's out. Well, everyone has to be here for it, but it will be good that the person can start planning. Yeah, I thought we perma hosted. I like the perma sub. Yeah, yeah, no, I like uh, I like that Saz the aut automatic uh, QB on this. All right, so put everyone on the wheel. We also have except to Nick. I'm gonna be honest. Can we just have Nick do it again? I yeah, it's a good game, man. <laughs> a lot of it's a lot of pressure. So keep him on the wheel then. Yeah, keep Nick on. I, I think Nick's gonna help whoever it ends yeah. up. Yes, a wild consultant. I already have an idea for if I if it. Lands I do up. too. One idea. That would be very fun. Eliminator? Or I'll give the idea to whoever it just lands whoever on. it lands on does it. No elimination. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Elimination, yeah. So yeah. Tell him, tell him. Yeah. I like suspense. You don't like suspense? I you do. Just I out do. on the field. I love suspense. secret window. Underrated. So objectively the best thing. That All right. Whoever it lands land on does it. Uh, Sass. Damn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this, this boy's unflappable these days. Yeah, he is. He's no, got his it's mojo. back. No, it was Eliminator. You that was Eliminator? You just weren't paying attention. I was just yeah, you weren't paying attention. praying on it. Sorry. Damn, I kind of mm. wanted to see Rome. I Damn. know. I had some working. ideas. Damn. I'll get to do it someday. 
Probably not, man. It'll be tough to try to duplicate or follow. Oh, me. I want to see Kate do it. Oh, if I get it, I'm using Shit. it. Uh, Nick is going to write half of it for oh, me. Oh, yeah. The old Brandon Walker technique. Yes. <laughs> Brandon did get You got a big fucking salary from that. From Nick writing stuff? Yeah. And Nick's salary got cut somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Nick got less money. Nick's back on part time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has to do graphics now. He's at the big graphics summit up in St. Paul. I think we're all that rooting for Nick. Is. We'd love to have Nick. This sucks now for me and Owen That's because That's if, a good one. Yeah. if it, one of us the gets best. it, yeah. Yeah. everyone's going to be like, we wish it was Nick. Yeah. So this really sucks. It does. We Owen has hope it's a Nick. weird brain, though. I, I could see him fucking flourishing. Let's uh, hope it's I like all these picks. Also, Owen's, I don't think, ever been picked in like the first five picks of the wheel. It no, always no he's always to yeah. the end, to the bitter end. Uh, Big Cat would come up with some twists. I have one thing that will be very. He fun. has, yeah. Big Cat. Right. Has so it's Nick. Okay, we got. We uh, have. We have. How about it's, it is. it's presented by Nick and Big Cat. No, let's spin. We need to. Yeah, I mean, we could just do it that. I could host it, and Nick could help me because he's going to help yeah. me regardless. Yeah. So right, or, he'll just, or he'll just. Right, or he'll. I'll do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it, and I'll have yeah. Nick help me. Get you on the flyer. Can't you leave the wheel with two. All right, fine, fine. Spin it, spin it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So what if this is who it isn't? Right? Yeah, All right, so you. there it is. It's what me. What colors are those? Oh, that's who it is. Well, yeah, because Nick is off and it leaves me. Okay. So it's me. So I'm going to have Nick help me. I'm actually very excited for the one thing. I I already bought something for it. No way. Okay. Well, it was for something else, but it's going to be very fun. Does it involve shooting a fly with a piece of salt? Oh. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Have you Ooh, done that? Nick's I've mind, gotten those. I've, your I had budget one of those. And Zaz charisma. Great. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop a lot of money on this. Oh. How much? Yes. How much are we talking? Uh, yeah, ten. Mid five. Let's get a. Let's get a snake. <laughs> yeah. Mid five. Show it. Show it a helium. Mid five. Get a figs. snake. Anyway. What? Show it helium. Do I have one? Mid five. No, no. Oh, way more. To cancel it. After Schultz, Schultz bailed on opening. <laughs> he lost his opener. <laughs> now Akash won't come either. <laughs> Do we know when this wild might happen? So a week or two. next week I'm out. I think a couple people are out. I think Nick and KB are both out. Just uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, and then Roan, you're out. I don't think so, but I might be out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. So My then I'll be back August first, so we could do it. We could do it that week. So I'm um that week I'm out Shit. for the classic on the first and the second. All right, so, so we'll do it later on, on the week. No rush. Yeah. We'll make yeah. Something, yeah. No, it'll be it'll be the first week of August. We'll I'll have it all planned. Should we do it here or should we go to a field? Oh, that could uh, be I'm gonna, fun. I'm gonna bring the field here, brother. Okay. Ah. Uh, a little turf man. I don't know how to do that part of it. We could bring a field here. We could easily get some mulching. We here. have a turf guy. He made the Yak logo in turf. He did? Let him up Frankie Borelli has a turf guy, too. No. Yes. He, oh, he has a good turf guy. Chappelle's a turf guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is. Yes, Owen. Yes, brother. Wait, remember when like turf wasn't popular for high schools and your high school got turf? Because there, there was... there was applies to me. I don't know about you guys. There was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> turf technology. The memory. Yeah, that yeah. When yeah, did turf technology? Yeah, I'm a little too. Remember old. When that happened? Turf technology was like 2000. Like I feel like. Well, it's probably oh, old. It's probably very old, but it started becoming common in the early 2000s. With I think it was because er, Vinny Testaverde got hurt Mid. in like week one of 1999, <laughs> I think, and then the Jets decided to change their to field turf. Yeah, I believe so. How was that early? I he thought field like turf was one, more. So I think it was like a big initiative. Yeah, Curtis Martin was on the field. No, uh, uh, he was. Michael Irvin got uh, knocked out at the vet because of right. turf. Shit, cheered. Yeah. Testaverde went to high school in my town. Wow. Shut up. No pools. Legend. And he went to Miami, bro. Miami Dolphins. Legend. When? Yes. Yeah, find out when the first the NFL Bucks. turf field turf was installed. And they had next turf in. And then there was that swing back where it was like the rubber pellets are causing cancer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think grass is back in vogue, right? Grass is back. I don't believe you, Stephen, because I told you 5G. Is it really? Because uh, I remember I, I think high schools are trying to switch back. No, that's AstroTurf. When's first field turf? I think the place so the I sit on the turf and, and just pick up it, as many of those yeah. as I could. I met a guy at a party in Philly who before. had an Eagles Super Bowl ring, and he was like, I'm the grass guy. I'm that's what I do and we get rings too and he went to University of like Tennessee or something for like field grass field management like that's a major yeah. Yeah. those guys are the white, the those white guys so- are more important than doctors the white yeah. Sox guys <laughs> guys are the best yeah. the white Sox guy is called the sod father 
Really? Yeah, pretty fucking sick oh. name. Huh? That's so much better than all the guys. Oh, the guys must have been furious had they so not mad. come up with that. Yeah. Yeah. Rash should be heralded with the oceans. The so seas. Yeah. 2002. <laughs> so you were wrong, Stephen. What was the stadium? Seahawks. 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 2002. Yeah, I feel like it's. it was like the mid-2000s was when it started. Oh, but that's not... I mean, the... the yeah. The vet in the Philly. The link was 2003. No, but the vet had turf. Oh, no, yeah. but we're not talking about astro turf. We're talking about field turf. Rubber pellets. Oh, what what about astro. next? What about next turf? What was uh, next? Turf? Way before the 2000. The, the Born to Run Sports Complex in Grove City, PA, had it. Oh yeah, really <laughs> early. Had next turf. Oh, I remember that. Mm. Astro turf. What's the difference between astro turf and next turf? AstroTurf is the stuff that does not have rubber pellets. It's just that's the stuff that all it's the just guys cement. at the vet were <laughs> yeah, getting hurt yeah. on. Yeah, they literally it's just cement, which is colored sweet. green. Yeah, which is very fucking sweet. Yeah, uh, everyone would just get hurt. People are getting knocked the fuck out. I mean, knocked the fuck on. out. Yeah, two thousand two. Well, there you go. You were right. <laughs> More you know. Damn. Why don't they just play on wrestling mats? That'd be cool. That'd be sweet. Because you can't really run like that, can you? Would it's sand be safe? Shoes. Be an well, I mean, the football players should wrestle. <laughs> Different seasons will help with their tackling. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have the scholarships for it. Oh, no. Is that true? What, they don't have the scholarships for what? <laughs> I'm just saying it's a tool to help you improve as a football player. Oh, no. What are your oh, thoughts? You, re you replied to a few one people season. over <laughs> one season break. on the mat, and you'll you'll probably earn one of the 85 to 90 scholarships. Which is way too many, right? One of the 100 D1 programs. Right. So you're saying it could help your football game? A lot. I think Saban's been saying that. Yeah. The Alabama wrestling. boys don't know about wrestling. Mississippi doesn't have it. That's true. They don't wrestle? They don't even have high school wrestling. It's kind of ironic. Dude, I'm about to eat some poke. Yeah? I want to eat a fucking poke bowl badly, dude. Can I, do I have permission to launch? <laughs> that was like the loudest noise yeah, ever. I don't know why that was so loud. Launch. Can we put up the link to Sass's show to buy? No, no, no. We don't need to do that. Why? Because we don't need to. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Why not? Mm hmm. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. do wait, opener? what are you doing for the opener? You should just come out and be. No, no, opener. I have an opener, but I just don't uh, know who it is. You should be your own opener and just do all your bad jokes. Right. That also, like, I'll be right back. Credit to Sass coming back in between shows. Of <gasps> course. Is that yeah. true? It is, yes. I will be wow. here tomorrow. Wow. So you're not staying over? No, I am. Oh. <gasps> well, I'm not going to go home at like midnight from Philly. Staying at Smitty's? Mm. No, I have a hotel. <laughs> It's Smitty's. You gotta go out to Smitty's or Jordy's. Isn't Jordy's. Smitty like not yeah. in Philly? He's in the Albert. burbs. Mm -hmm. I say it like that. Yeah, why do you? Why are you trying Gilly? to disparage him? Wallow. You see Gilly go off on yet. Rick Ross. Yeah, yes. that was, it was awesome. fucking oh amazing. No. Yes. it was didn't see such a good you watch see that. that? <laughs> gotta oh, see this. Destroyed him. That was a roast. A lot of good quotables. Yes. I caught the bitch. I didn't bought the bitch. Yeah. You can't unlame a lame. <laughs> we're obviously taking out the N words. Oh, yeah. Saying it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if we, uh, yeah, that shit was funny as fuck. I can't believe he's beefing with Rick Ross. I'm only going to tell you this. I love oh, This shit got me time, fired up. Yeah. You better stop fucking playing with me. We watched this man. multiple times driving down you the street. And mind your fucking business, man. Because you went on a nigga Instagram page commenting about me calling me out my name, my nigga, how for no motherfucking reason at all. Mad. This is how this shit started. So I'm going to tell you again, man. Leave me the fuck alone, man. I see your little funky ass video. I spend more money on my cow's hooves than you spend on your wife. You're probably right, nigga. Because I ain't bored. I caught her, nigga. <laughs> she fuck with me because who I'm blessed to be, not because I bless her with a fee. But ain't she the nigga that's here? I put Molly all in her drink and she ain't even know it. God damn, Ricky Reaper, bitch. <laughs> huh? Stop talking about money, man. Because money don't unlame a lame, nigga. There's a lot of suck-ass niggas out here with money, and you on the list. Matter of fact, you the captain of the Suckers with Money Association of America, nigga. And we ain't impressed. So mind your business. Because that's your problem. You're always minding niggas' business. You was minding Birdman business some years back when you was running around talking about, Give Khaled the money you owe him. Will you give Meek the money you owe him, nigga? Because you got him in a 1914 slave deal. 
a Harriet Tubman joint that he signed when he was 19 and now he's 35. I thought you said, a boss is one that guarantee we gon' eat. Well, why you ain't renegotiating with a real nigga? Thank God he's fucking with them white boys. He fuck around, be broke, busted, and disgusted fucking with you. He's a hell of a businessman, though. Salute to you, Meek. But stop talking about money, man. And stop pushing that Bel Air on niggas. Because they don't drink that shit no more. <laughs> I got the ice electric blue bottle and I got the lime green bottle that float in the air like a Latin's carpet. We don't give a fuck. We don't want it, man. Niggas don't drink that shit, man. And slow up on them goddamn lemon peppers because you're about a six piece away from a heart attack, nigga. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm telling you, this ain't what you want like Lil Dirk first single, nigga. Why did the beef start? Don't know. Didn't. Don't need to know. No. I think uh, uh, Gilly just made fun of Rick Ross for getting uh, a fucking. He got a cow, and Gilly was like, "What well, you're fucking spent? Why, dudes are spending money on the wrong shit." And uh, I think Rick Ross came back, and the whole internet was like, "Well, now he owns a cow, and that means that he has like he there's like tax loopholes to it or something like that, saying that he was actually smart." Rick Ross was coming at him. It might have something to do with maybe Rick Ross is getting a podcast, maybe. Oh. Like that. Pod Wars. I think Rick Ross pretty much said that he was going to start a podcast to spite them because of this beef. Ah. Uh, that doesn't oh. mean it. Yeah. No one's going to listen to it. Yeah. Especially like Gilly said. Like, like, listen to the first yeah. episode to hear yeah. what he says about the beef, and then yeah. it'll be over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gilly was like, why does he have a cow? And then Rick Ross is like, I spend more money on my cows than you do on your whole family. And, everyone, and just freaked out on him. Yeah. Well, yeah. He ain't bought her. He caught her. It's not hard, man. That's too much money on cows. <laughs> yeah, you should yeah. be budgeting for cows. Yeah. <laughs> Gilly's hilarious. Goes broke on funny. buying cows. <laughs> he just randomly like started rhyming in the middle. I know. I can never tell it if was, he said the like words before. or Guys like that happen. have a set thing of like phrases in their head in the chamber that they can bust they have out. to. There's no way. Because whenever they're like, I'll sock it to your pocket like a rocket. Like, <laughs> they say that shit all the time. But the first time I heard it, I was like. They, oh, they're so good at weaving it in seamlessly. Yeah. I bought the bitch. I took it as like a written monologue, but still thought it was like the best. Even if yeah. it was written word for word, it was years. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. It's good shit. But I think some of it he was freestyling. Like Lil Dirk said. I didn't. I didn't understand all the references. <laughs> I'd say I went like over seven on references. I enjoyed the Bel Air. Yes. So like, yeah, I kind of understood that. Um, it's a flashy. Everybody drinks drink. Drinks. The one key I, yeah. liquor. It's the one I took from Keys. One accident. floats like Aladdin's carpet. That was you, Owen. Yeah. Oh yeah. You took that. So rest assured, Kelly. Nobody drinks that shit anymore. <laughs> oh, that was true. Bad. So it was that bad. Bel-Air? I got the what? blue bottle. Wasn't good. Blue bottle. <laughs> that was the blue bottle he was talking about. He was making fun of Kelly Keys in that video. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak this. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. Did you see Kelly's video? It's her mom's birthday. The cupcake delivery guy. Yeah, it was very guy. funny. Just threw it. Was it was very funny. I love oh. videos like oh. that. Oh, delivery guys who just throw the box. Oh, at that's your house. Awesome. <laughs> Someone <laughs> just pulls up her mom's driveway in a white truck, opens the window, and not just like they throw a box of cupcakes like on. <laughs> yeah. the she driveway. got the whole thing on video. And they pull. It's on their ring camera. Yeah, it's very funny. Oh, yeah. she tweeted. I want to watch this. I yeah. love this. I love delivery guys that don't give yeah. a fuck. And if you ever met them, they don't give a fuck. They do not give a fuck. It's like, yeah. oh, this it's not is a- awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <Sad story>. <laughs> <laughs> Cupcakes. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Sass, you could probably, or uh, KB, you could probably tell us exactly no, where I'm that try- house I is. I am very confused. I thought they is lived the in Jersey. It doesn't look like Jersey. Is that a gravel driveway? I guess it could be. It looks like a milk box. Hamptons. They went from West Village to the Hamptons but couldn't get out of the car. Yeah, they're we probably Keegs furious. Appearance on this show, by the I way. was about to say that too. We owe Keegs an appearance on the show yeah, for yeah. Uh, Squeezer for Bumper. show. So I'd love to have. She you. is she here right now? I want to hear about this cup. Can we have her in right now, and that'll be her appearance for the last yeah. minute or two. I'm kidding. She has to be on for a full episode. So she's got like, screen. She had a bachelorette party last weekend. She's got two more, two like three in a row, three weekends in a row. Damn. Uh, that, that hot spot. Yeah, that when you get to that age when it's just like so whole expensive. life just runs by bachelor parties and yeah. weddings. Fuck. Well, then don't you have to go to the wedding? Yeah. Well, how far? How far after a bachelor slash bachelorette party is a wedding? Sometimes a like months. a couple months. Sometimes I've done them where it's like two weeks, which actually is very fun because then it's like inside it fresh? jokes right Everybody's away. Still, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like if you go a couple months, it's like, oh yeah, I remember that kind of. 
Forget some people's names and shit. I feel like it used to be like the night before. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought yeah. it was. I don't uh-huh. know. Especially in movies. Cool. In, in movies. movies, it's always like yeah. either like one hour until the marriage. Yeah, right. yeah. hangover specifically. Is hangover what we're specifically. About. Yeah. yeah. That's well, there's three of them. <laughs> that's true. Hangover one, two, and three. Were they getting married in all three? Uh, I think I ever thought, saw two. I never saw three. Ta- two was in Thailand. There's a third hangover. Three is not that good. Two is in Thailand, right? In Thailand, I guess. Are they not getting married in all of them? I don't know. I doubt it. He must have got paid for that third one. Yeah, that third one must have been. The third one, they're doing like stunts and shit. Let's find out how much they made for the third hangover. That shit's just online. Yeah, Bradley Cooper just fucking... That's that's the actor you kind of need to be, is like where you can just do these stupid movies for... So much money, and then be like, yeah, yeah but I'll the hangover movie. one's not a that's a hilarious. No, uh, no, I'm not saying, yeah, I'm saying like as an Adam artist, Sandler. yeah, be Halloween, probably 15 million. Oh, and they got paid on the back end. Oh, wow, the unreal, oh. they got taken care of. Wow, how much did uh, how much Alex you know, Schaefer got for win win? You know, Marlon Brando when he did less the than a father, he was like broke and uh. His deal worked in like a percentage of sales, and because he was so broke, his uh, agent was like, "He just wants a hundred thousand dollars. He'll give back the points." No way. And he got the hundred thousand dollars and just didn't get any of the. Really? Yeah. Holy shit! Oh, Search damn. that. It's crazy. Who is this? De Niro? Marlon Brando. Brando. Damn. Yeah, he was like when he was filming it, he was broke, and he's like, "I'd rather have the hundred thousand dollars right now." He didn't get any of the. Percentage back. That's up there with Cuban passing on Bombas. Yeah, Bombas. I can't believe it. I'm wearing Bombas right now. What is that? Brutal. Bombas socks right now. Uh, Cuban passed on Bombas. Oh, Bomba? No. He was going to draft him. Yeah. (laughs) What socks are they? Bombas. Bombas? Bombas. Bombas? What are the the little peanut butter puff things? Are those Bombas? Bombas? Peanut butter puffs. Uh, For kids. I think Bombas is socks. Bombas. Socks. Socks and no, I'm not giving. I don't have the peanut butter. I know. Puffs. I know what you're talking about. What are they called? Uh, I am not surprised they're bombas or. I or need to get like them. What are those little they banana puffs? You eat those? You eat? No banana puffs. Nah, yeah, no. He's not eating those. Those are baby. I have fucking you know. banana puffs. Yeah, puffs in general. Dude, Br- uh, Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. They're like, we want you to be skinny for this role, and he just wouldn't get skinny. He just stayed fat. A big that. ask. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was like a big that's movie what, too, though. That's what what's his name did for uh, the new Batman. Who was it? Rob Robert Pattinson. He got fat. Oh, they were like, "We want you to get big," and he was like, "No." He got pretty big though. He was still kind of chiseled. Big-ish. He already was kind of big though. Yeah, they wanted <laughs> steroids. Those guys. No, too. Christian Bale. Did you so know Marlon Brando's son killed his daughter's boyfriend? No. What? Yeah. That's a fun fact. I'm listening to this Holy podcast fuck. right Jesus. now. Remember that guy, Robert Blake, who killed his wife? Mm-hmm. Of course. That actor, like, right now. Um, she was, like, a notorious grifter who was, like, married 10 times. And finally, like, Robert Blake was the only Hollywood star that she could trick into, like, marrying her. with a. But she did get pregnant. But when he was like, I don't care that you're pregnant, she was like, who else can I target and tell him it's the dad? And she was like, Christian Brando, um, Marlon Brando's son, because he was just, like, such a huge fuck up. Right. And so she went and slept with him, like, a month after she was already pregnant. And she was like, it's yours. And he was like, awesome, sweet. Um, but anyway, yeah, he, he killed his... Old eight Marlon Brando had two kids, and he killed, like purposely, like he murdered them. Murdered his Marlon Brando's daughter's boyfriend, and he went to jail for a while. And then Marlon Brando like hit him away in the hills Whoa. for the rest of his life or something. The, 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 the best man is currently man. hiding in the hills. I don't know if he's still alive anymore. I don't think he's still alive. We go find. How him? old is Brand- Marlon? Forty nine. Um, he died at forty nine. Yeah. Yeah, he it was like an event. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, if the boyfriend was being abusive. Yeah, I, yeah. Kind of like a. But he was like a wild card. He was like a Hollywood wild card, the Brando kids were. Mm. Anyway, that was yeah. random. I was just listening to this podcast. I was talking crazy. about it, so I thought I'd throw it out there. Yeah. That's a yeah. fun fact. Yeah. Women Jacob Elordi refused to wear skinny jeans in Euphoria season two. They they tried to get him to. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see what happens. That's yeah. embarrassing as fuck Stay for him. Tuned. Why did they try to make him wear skinny jeans, though? No creative direction. Mm-mm. Whoever the costume designer is is a fucking idiot. Yeah. A lot of rewrites. Moron. Piece of shit. They'll probably win a fucking award. Yeah. For designing nice. a costume where Sidney Sweeney's ass naked. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's not cool. The best costume ever. Sydney like that, dude? She's naked. Talking about the costume designer, bro. 
Just don't just keep Sydney's name out of your mouth. Why didn't he want to wear skinny jeans? He thought it was a no print. Oh, oh. He's a tiny dick. You know that guy Chase Crawford that we had him in studio not too long ago on the boys. They had to CGI his dick to be smaller. You, yeah. How sick wow. is that? I saw. I actually saw yesterday on Twitter someone said that about William Defoe too. Really? Yeah. That, like that's got to be the greatest thing ever. You have to get a the, dick double. Yeah, they were like, uh, your dick is too big. Yeah, they said it would take away from the artistic shot in the movie. I was just laughing the whole time thinking about some like fucking super talented C like Quig's like guy whose entire job is to just to do CGI. That. What if they were just smaller. telling him that though, and it and it wasn't. And it, but he was. They're just like, no, your your dick's too big, dude. Yeah. It's actually, yeah. that's the problem. It's just yeah. fucking massive. Yeah. We should go out for like a micro penis infomercial just to feel that. Yeah. Sorry, it's too big. Oh, is it, brother? This isn't micro. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> How are you doing? I mean, uh, TJ. My penis. Well, I'm defused, cock. Wow. My penis goes out from between my legs. Imagine, but imagine being the stunt cock with the small dick. Right, having a, what do you guys need me for? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. My small cock. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Fine day's yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you cut uh, your teeth. Yeah. Right. Just making money like the rest of us. You got in the biz. Damn, yeah, that's fucking tough. That's That's got to be embarrassing. How do they even find that guy? They got to take his word for it. Yeah. Well, that's like, like being dick. casted as like the fat person. The right. yeah. ugly person. Well, I feel like everyone you, knows you're kind of skin fat. deep. Yeah, that's everyone ex- knows your dick is small. Well, when you, you become be when you become that character, right? Like a hyperbolized version of it too. Like that's embarrassing. Did he have to look like Willem Dafoe otherwise too? He looked exactly like Willem Dafoe and just regular dick, or like did it was his whole body double, or did they have similar asses? Like it would have mm. to be a similar, not just any small dick would do. Because William Dafoe's a unique fella. Yeah, he yeah. is. So he has to be his name a, weird too. All right, I gotta run. I will right, well, send the show. All right. So that way everyone can blame it on you, not me. Mm-hmm. Damn, Sass. Why are you why do you why are you ending <laughs> the good times? All right, I guess yeah, it's yeah. over. All right. More fun time, Sass? Well, I have a train in. See like, everyone tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks a lot. How am I supposed Sass? to come to the show if you got a train in ten minutes? <laughs> you fucked me. Sass, are enjoy the show. Enjoy the show to whoever's listening and attending. Go birds. Good night. Go birds. Ticket links in the chat. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go to TJ. Oh, shit. Bye.